Hey guys, it's Sunday Backyard Farmer. So we got a couple of things to do today. We have to cut the grass, which, but that was two videos ago. Yeah, we got to cut the grass. I actually got a new lawnmower. It's nothing special, still push or well, self propel and it adjusts its own speed due to how fast you're walking. So if you're walking fast, it's gonna go fast. It's just a handle that's on there that actually floats. So it changes the speed of the lawnmower. So I've got another lawnmower, I'm gonna get the grass cut. I keep saying this, get some more starts in the ground and get I, no, can't say that. That's hands of the dirt. Uh, and play in some dirt. <laughs> Coming with their dad to get some dirt. Say, get some dirt. Get some dirt. <laughs> Nick here, say, get some dirt. Get some dirt. <laughs> some dirt. I'm trying to get in on the chat, guys, but I got to get in this yard. So, already spoke, so said hey to everybody. So I'm heading out to the yard. All right, guys, here is the lawnmower. So like I said, it has the, oh, they call it auto drive. So basically, you can see this. This is the speed. So this is the handle. When you actually put weight on it, it changes the speed of the lawnmower. So I'm definitely about to put it through his paces. I got this from Home Depot. I think it was about $400 with taxes and everything, around $400. I was looking to see. So I was really looking to see if they had a Husqvarna of some sort. Um, I looked in Lowe's, I looked in Home Depot, I didn't see it. And I wanted to actually compare it to this lawnmower, but nobody around my area had it. I don't know if they stopped making the smaller lawnmowers, but I know I have the Husqvarna um, weed eater and um, something else. Oh, and I also have a, a blower at the shop as well. So I was trying to keep everything the same, but I didn't see one. So we're going to try this one out and see how it does. Whew, it's hot out here, guys. Okay, first impression. The main thing I like about it is it's rear wheel drive. My other one was front wheel drive. And going up and down the hills, especially in the front, but going up and down the hills, that front wheel would just be spinning and it's barely assisting you on accomplishing getting up the hill. But rear wheel drive is is digging and going. So is you literally with this system, with this system right here, this thing don't even look new. I just um, put it through the paces. Yeah, anyway, with this system right here, this is to, like I said before, to make it throttle forward, self-propelled. It doesn't feel like you're really pushing anything other than walking and whatever pace you wanna go, it's gonna go. So I like that about it. Before my lawnmower before this, not this lawnmower and not the one before this, but the one before that one, I actually had a Honda, which was rear wheel drive and I used to love it, but the main thing about the Honda is the blade. The blade is actually clutch driven. And after a while of cutting grass or if you're cutting tall grass, that clutch for the blade burns out and it's very expensive. If you can't do it yourself, it's very expensive to change. Most lawnmower shops don't even want to fool with it. They don't like the design. So I still have it, but I haven't changed the clutch on it. It's still sitting, but my first impressions of this one I really like. I really, I really like it. It takes used to getting, it takes some time to get used to this, the way the self propel mode, the auto drive works. But once, once you get a hang of it, it's pretty simple. So it also has this feature, which you can send it in the bed or you can mulch it. Most lawnmowers 
they just utilize if the bag is off that it automatically mulch but this has let's see if you can see in there this has an actual flap to contain it for mulching so that's it on the lawnmower guys I'm actually pretty happy with it I'll take you around front and show you how it did It's extremely hot out here. So I think it did okay. And I don't know if y'all could tell, but it's going downhill. So going up and down, and then the house sits on the hill. So that rear wheel drive really came in handy today. Much better than the other one. So we done blew off the driveway. Now it's time to get some of these. Well, you get a couple of tomatoes in the ground. <clears throat> and pin some of them up, so let me show you. So as you can see, that looked like it's not going to do anything in comparison to these, which are still fighting the black spots. I've trimmed and treated. I got a video coming out about that. So you see this one's actually about four feet tall now and all of them was about the same height so if that give you any indication you can see how small that one is this one's starting to do better even though it's small i think i'm gonna leave it in there and i'm gonna add another tomato right here and rip that one out so the Cucumbers are starting to come up. Car is starting to grow some. Peppers are doing. This one got a few on there. Probably rip those off. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see that one. Look how big that one is. We got some coming up right here. That one coming. So yeah, let's not waste time. Let's get some tomatoes in place of the other ones. So we got that other plant, tomato plant replaced with this one. So I'm gonna treat that in a little while. The sun's starting to cut back a little bit. Still got some to trim off of here and treat. I'm treating all the tomatoes tonight. I got these in, this one and this one in today. And I kind of ran out of space, so I put one here just for right now and this stuff is growing out of the compost pile <laughs> I don't know what it is but this stuff starting to grow out of there I'm throwing a lot of stuff in there and kitchen scraps and things are coming up so I'm gonna water all this in put a tomato right here also put a tomato right here I'll put some sunflower seeds in here. I think I'll put, I think four over here. Got this tomato in right here next to these two. And I may be late, but I went ahead and got some carrots in this area right here. So we'll see how that go. There is a couple of things I do want to grab off of these. These plants are very small. I kind of want them to get bigger before they start. We'll do some peppers. So, we'll go ahead and cut these off. Hopefully the plants get bigger. So we got four. I'm gonna wash them off and um, take them in the house to see if my wife can do anything with them. But I definitely want the plants to get bigger before they start putting off fruit like this or vegetables like this. That's pretty huge for that size plant, these two.
So, here's not a particular thing for this Sunday supper. But I did want to use my brand new kitchen egg mixer. Yay! And I did. I used it to make yeast rolls, um, Italian um, artisan bread, and also that wonderful raspberry lemon cake. So, we'll see what it's all tasting like. So, um, these two pork chops are not spicy. This one is, but it doesn't have any sauce on it. These have sauce on it. It's sweet spicy sauce. And this is a kale salad, yeast rolls. The artisan bread. It has like Italian herbs in it, and then I put some rosemary in it. So um, we have some soft butter on the table, so you can put some on here. So let's dive in. I'm nasty. The Lord bless this food for the nourishment of my body. Amen. 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 